What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. In today's market, there is no shortage of budget ear pods and air pods and headphones. You need something to differentiate itself, whether it's color wise, quality wise, feature wise, and OnePlus is back again with its latest offering in its Nord line, the Nord Buds Pro 3 or Nord Buds 3 Pro, whatever you want to call them. This is in that turquoisey mint color. I'm super excited to take a look at these. These have A and C. They have a ton of specs packed into this inexpensive package. This video is no way sponsored. Unfortunately, OnePlus, if you're watching, shout out to y'all. We're here to partner if you want in the future, but we purchased these with our own money. I want you guys to get a quick first look at these. Let's go. So very simple and similar packaging to what OnePlus has done in the past. Little breakdown, warning labels, disclaimers, not too much as far as spec wise go on the actual packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up though, so you guys can get a look. Again, these do come in two different colorways. I really like this teal color. And as you can see, buds right on the top here for you to see. And on the back of the packaging is where you're gonna find your other headphones, or I should say ear inserts. Reading material, we'll pluck that to the side. A little sticker, if you're into that. A USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And again, like we said, those matching colored ear tips. So moving all that to the side, the star of the show obviously is these buds. And again, there is that very, very nice, really pretty speckly looking charging case for the Nord Buds 3 Pro. So these do have three mic active ANCs, 12.4 millimeter uh, titanized diaphragm, whatever that means, marketing jargon on OnePlus's website. Uh, it does have fast charging, 10 minutes will give you 11 hours of playback. 44 hours of listening time, and what they're also calling rich bass with Bass Wave 2.0. More important than all that jargon, what I think matters the most in these is the 49 decibels hybrid ANC or active noise cancellation, and a very similar design that we have seen for a while now. You can see the R and the left almost etched into the charging case. You can see your pairing light or status light as well right there. Uh, all in all, good looking package from what you can see here. Again, it really does run $60 for these and they are actually having good ANC quality, which is something I think a lot of people are gonna want and be surprised at at this price point. So that's something good to keep in mind. Again, battery life is pretty substantial on this as well. It does use Bluetooth 5.4 here. They're meant to go with their new summer lineup with the Nord um, devices uh, and all of that. It does work with the OnePlus pad for seamless switching uh, and seamless pairing as well using Google. So some more specs on this. It does have an IP55 water and dust rating here. Um, makes them obviously pretty good. If it gets splashed, you're gonna be okay. It's 55 degrees Celsius temperature tested and 20,000 fold case hinge tested. If you're the type to just use this as a fidget, you're gonna be okay. They've also, for some reason, chosen to focus on a drop test with these, and it's been proven that at a 1.8 meter height, the buds will be okay if you drop them as such. So, no big deal there. Let me go ahead and get these paired to our phone, and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see here, we do have our CMF phone by nothing also known as another founder from OnePlus. And I wanna show you just how quick and seamless it is with that fast pairing. Once you actually open the case, you can see it already popped up here that the OnePlus Nord Buds 3 Pro are ready to connect. Simply hit connect and it will take one second to finish setting everything up. And you can see it already says device connected and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and put these in really quick and see exactly how they sound. So right off the bat, when you put both earbuds in, it does turn on that ANC and it's noticeable. So let me go ahead, just go to YouTube. Let me play something here. Let's see. Hmm. 
Let's go to one of the new Morgan Wallen songs. And let's just play this. Okay. I gotta say, it actually does sound very rich and full. The mids sound good. It does have just enough bass where it's not overpowering. And these are all in the default equalizer. So that is definitely nice to see. So it does have touch controls on the stems. As you can see, I'm kind of switching them right now. That is nice as always to see. I'm using the right earbud and now the left earbud and the double taps are working perfectly fine. If I remove one from my ear, it auto pauses, which I'm a huge fan of. And it automatically obviously turns off that ANC because, well, you can't have ANC with only one earbud in. So, yeah, having said that, I am very excited to put these through the paces, really test them out, and even put them against a new higher end comer, those Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Since we're on the three streak here, let's see what they all offer. Comment down below, are you interested in any of these comparisons? What are you thinking about the Nord's Buds 3 Pro? Are you a fan? Let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.